Good morning, YouTube Pie Smokers. So I don't know if any of you saw the fast cap, and uh, his wife did an excellent job with the challenge. I thank them both for doing that. It's a great sport. He aced it, actually, uh, which I was surprised at. Um, and uh, I hope more people do the challenge. It's a little difficult to do because you need a willing person next to you to light the pipe. In his case, he had his lovely wife. My wife certainly wouldn't do it because she wouldn't. She don't like smoking at all. So um, it'd be hard for me to do my own challenge. <laughs> but anyway, uh, probably for a lot of you, it's the same thing. Um, the only thing I think I would change with the challenge rules would be number the pipes, and the smoker doesn't know the number, and just say. Uh, let it be totally blind. He has no idea pipe one, two, or three. But that's just an observation. I'm not saying anything was uh, implying anything. I'm just saying, thinking about it, I think that it should be unknown to the smoker. But nonetheless, he did a great job and a great sport, and uh, I appreciate them both doing that. Um, also, but what's a little disturbing to me not about the contest or about them, is how this was all presented. Uh, Mike brought this subject up, and, you know, once you start saying you're going to unsubscribe to anybody that says something you disagree with, those are technically fighting words, and that's what creates drama. And there's no reason for that. Now, I understand Mike sells pipes, and he tends to sell higher-end pipes. So, obviously, you're not going to be in favor of a guy saying a $15 pipe can compete with any type of pipe Mike sells. You know, So, you're going to have a little bit of ad animosity towards that type of thing. Um, same thing with Jason. With Tony. He has a pipe which I bought from him. Great smoking pipe. One of the best ones I own. Matter of fact, um, and it's not to disparage Jason and say that this pipe can, that is barely compares to a corn cob or smokes as good or a corn cob smokes better. Nobody, nobody's saying that really. Um, and if they did say that, it's not knocking his craftsmanship. This is phenomenal. The fit and finish, the the stem work is outstanding. Is nothing not to like about this pipe and he did a fantastic job and that's he's a great craftsman great there's no problem with that but respect other people's opinions that you know a, a lesser pipe can smoke just as good as this and maybe somebody would smoke this pipe and not like it for whatever reason i can imagine but it's possible i mean we all have different tastes and different likes and like I said the other day about Mercedes, um, I don't think they're the car they once was. Well, that's my opinion. To somebody that owns them maybe their whole life, they may have gotten 300,000 miles without any type of major problems. To them, that's the best car on the planet. But yet somebody else, the car's been nothing but a nightmare for them. It's been at the dealer a hundred times. So there's always a broad spectrum of likes and dislikes by anybody you know the finest wine the finest uh, steak whatever somebody doesn't like it somewhere you know and that's okay and that's you know in briar blues's case i have a feeling he doesn't really care for me so i don't think anything i say would change his mind and i'm not looking to change his mind but i'm just saying keep your mind open to other people's respect other people's opinion is what i'm saying uh, that's that's really the bottom line and you know that's one of the things why i think everybody really loved about matches he never really brought brought drama to the table he smoked his pipe he gave his opinion of tobacco sometimes he was a great storyteller god rest his soul and um he never, that I can remember, brought drama to the table. And I think that's what we should all think about.
when we do a video. Um, I certainly try not to bring drama, but I will. I want to be able to disagree with somebody and not be labeled as uh, creating drama. I mean, you know, it starts from that. Because I disagree with what Mike's video. Number one, it doesn't mean I'm mad at him. It just means I disagree with him. And I'm entitled to do that, I think. But if you, if you can't, I mean, I did a, a comment on one of Simon's videos and he, he erased it. I think that's terrible that he did that. Recently on a different subject, not in the pipe community, I posted a video, uh, a comment on somebody's video, and they removed it. It wasn't nasty. It wasn't, they just didn't like my answer because it opposed their view, and they erased it. I don't think that's right, you know. Um, but, you know, people can do what they want with their channel. You know, it's, it's like I can do what I want with mine. But I never erase somebody's comment. It's just something I don't do. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. I respect their opinion, and I may not agree. Um, and most times I probably will not agree, but because, you know, there's always uh, two sides to every story. There's two opinions. There's many opinions on certain things. It's like saying, is this red? To somebody, it just doesn't look red. It's like it's maroon. It's in the red family. They're, they can't say absolutely it's red. Are they wrong? No. Am I wrong for calling this red? In somebody's eyes, because to them it's not red. You know, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, that's what makes the world go round. We all can't like the same thing, and we all cannot agree. You know how boring the world would be if we all agreed? You know? But anyway, I hope... Uh, some good was come from this, and uh, be nice. Thank you.